Next on the chopping block is the Sun Founder 5 inch LCD touchscreen monitor display. It is HDMI and max resolution of 800 by 480. We should work on the Raspberry 1, 2, and 3, and it should work for the Zero as well. I want to go ahead and unbox this and test it, and it's going to be part of a new portable uh, retro gaming machine that I'm going to be working on in the near future. But before I get into it, um, looks like they're using those old DVD-Rs. They're making their own. That's how they label it right there. Super high tech. And within the phone, they have an installation guide. Wow, the screen is messed up. Look how scratched that is. So underneath it, it looks like the screen is okay. But man, look at that, how it came scratched. I guess it's okay underneath there. You have the option to turn your backlit on or off. You have the power and you have your HDMI there. And then this should connect straight up with your GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi 3, which is nice. Direct connection there. You also have your HDMI adapter here. You have some little pegs, brass pegs, and you have a little plastic stylus as well. So that's what you get in the box. All right, here we go. It's a pretty easy install. There's only one way to line it where the HDMI is still lined up perfectly. Put the little HDMI adapter on there. That clips right in. So now we have our screen set up. Now we just need a controller. You do need to edit your config.txt file on your RetroPie image. Otherwise, if you boot it up as is, it'll look like this. You'll just get white lines. So you're going to have to follow the next step in order to see your image on this 5-inch screen. You should see a text document in the description below. Inside, you're going to have this information here. But you want to go ahead and download that file and copy it over. Go ahead and remove your microSD card from your Pi and put it into your computer. It should, it should come up as a new drive, and you should see it here. Go ahead and you want to go to the config.txt. Go ahead and open with WordPad is the better one to open it with because it is, you know, formatted really nicely. And all you want to do is do a little down down and enter in all that information into your config file that I've copied in the text. Once you're done there, make sure to save. Are you sure? Yes. Close out. And now we're going to remove it from our computer and put it back into our Raspberry Pi. All right, the moment of truth. Oh yeah. Oh no. This is going to require more foam. Here we go. It's alive, people. Let me switch over to manual focus here. It does have the touchscreen still on it, but uh, we don't need that. So one gamepad detected. Game, sir. Up, down, left, right. Start, select, A, B, X, Y. I missed one of the, the triggers, but that's okay. We're not even going to really be using it. So here we are in RetroPie. The one thing is this does not have a speaker. So maybe you want to do like a wireless speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, something like that. So I do have this little Amazon Basics Bluetooth speaker bar. I'm obviously not going to tote that thing around, but... At the same time, the screen is actually pretty nice. Audio, 3.5. This is just for the initial setup. I'm actually going to build a portable version of this. For sound on the portable, I'm going to go ahead and use headphones just because that makes the most sense. If you're going around town, just put on a pair of headphones. So we've got our sound set up now. All right, we got sound out of the speaker. 
no hum, which is nice. Sonic CD, great game. I will be building a whole portable for this, but for the time being, this will have to do. I mean, this performance is really good. Oh, we need to suck some of this. Come on, get on the elevator, Sonic. This is Disobedient Sonic the Hedgehog CD. This one. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. A little five inch LCD screen. All we needed was the Pi to install those little bit of drivers for the, con not drivers, but just to change the config file a little bit. And now we're gaming on this. I have a really cool portable project coming up. Stay tuned for that portable Raspberry Pi Boy. Probably one of the cheapest ones you'll ever see. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Links in the description if you're interested in checking them out. And we'll see you on the next one.